feeds up to Baker. Baker's between the circles. Kicks out. Left wing. Three-pointer from Lansburg is up and good. And ball fake from the three-point range on that left wing. He'll set a bounce feed to Lannisburg. He's a heat check. Sylvan knocks another one down. Yanni back to Landisburg. Landisburg leans back and splashes through a three-pointer from the right wing, his third of the night. Well, Hurdle will set it over to the other side. Now a long three-pointer. Jim McClinton rattles one through from the top of the circle. McClinton with a nice jump step inside. Dishes off to Graham. His shot swatted away again. This time, Soroye swats it to the right side. And now Virginia going the other way. Jones takes it inside, nearly turns it over, but Soroye reaches out, grabs it in the loose ball, and lays it off the window and good. Errant pass controlled by Landisburg. Moving in transition, his pass to Tucker. Tucker passes back to Jones, top of the arc, steps inside the arc, unhooks the jump, and he hits it with a foul. All tied up at 48 points apiece. Step back three-pointer from McClinton, touches all nylon. Three minutes, 55 seconds to play. Jeff Jones unhooks a three-pointer, and he hits it from the left side. Three minutes, 14 seconds to play. Sylvan Landisburg pass deflected into the air. Nice play by Thomas. It was a post pass that got uh, taken away from us. The zone, I think, had a wear down effect in terms of us playing a little bit mentally back on our heels. That went to man to man. It was a switch in man to man as it was a little bit in the first half. And when, when you have that, and we faced that many times before, you, you should be able to attack off the dribble and, and we didn't do a good job. Cavaliers coming in man defense. Here's a feed. McClinton gets alone for three and he punishes Virginia as he knocks one down from the right side. Now Tucker sends over to Baker. Baker, nice crossover as he weaves his way through the defense. Floats a runner up and good. Hey, Smith is more than capable of running his way for us often. And Baker has the ball taken away. I'd much rather shoot the basketball, miss, take a bad shot and miss, you know, throw a hook shot from half court and miss, then turn it over because it leads to, it leads to easy basket. Seven seconds to shoot now. Baker spots the shot clock. He's going to go to work. Puts up a long three-point try. That is good. So the Deacons trying to set things up. James Johnson goes baseline, fading away. Oh, degree of difficulty, about a nine and a half on that one. Here's a pull-up jumper, and Mamadi Diani buries it from the right side. What you want to see is the competitive spirit from the group. Tucker with a nice bounce feed to Scott, who throws it down with a one-hand jam. Virginia with a basketball, moving the other way, chance to get the lead. Landisburg into Scott. Scott in traffic, floats the shot up, no good, up close. The longer Virginia hangs around, the tighter things are going to get for Wake Forest. He kicks it inside. He pulls one up. No good, but what a follow. Unfortunately for us, they got those second shots and, and uh, they made us pay. And essentially, that was the, the difference in the game. They're joined by Deani, Scott, and Soroye. Scott gets the ball inside. Floats the shot up and in with the right hand. So Virginia climbs back to within three. They score over 50% of their points in the paint. And so, of course, Virginia taking that away with the zone right now. Smith passes out to Teague. Teague pump thinks and now lets it fly and cashes in on a big three-pointer. You give a good player an open shot at that time of the game. Odds are they're going to make it. And he did. And McClinton did the other day. And that's what, uh, that's what players do.